I want to introduce you to the National Center for Life and Liberty. I'm attorney David Gibbs III, and I have the privilege of serving as the president of this organization. Our motto at the National Center for Life and Liberty is if it's wrong, fight it. If it's right, fight for it. As we have the privilege of helping real people with real problems all across America, it's our honor to work through our five Liberty Centers. From our offices in Dallas, Texas, Washington, D.C., and Central Florida, we have the Center for Church Liberty, where we defend the rights of churches all across the nation. If one church loses their liberty, then that will affect all churches in losing their liberty. I've been a pastor's wife for decades, and I went to law school later in life, so I know how important it is for pastors to have an attorney to advise them. I was my husband's chief advisor, and now we're offering that service to everyone. We also have our Center for Christian Education. Christian education is important for every parent. We need to make sure that that freedom is protected in the United States of America. Through our Center for Homeschool Liberty, we defend parental rights. We believe that parents should have choices in how to educate their children. And I'm so thankful for the Center for Homeschool Liberty. We also have our Center for Life Defense. If you've ever been involved in an end of life situation or a situation where a loved one is in a coma, you will be grateful to know that the Center for Life Defense of the National Center for Life and Liberty can come alongside you during this difficult time to make critical decisions about life and death. We also have in Washington, D.C., our Center to Advance the USA. I believe it's time to advance, not retreat. As I work out of our office in Washington, D.C., the Center to Advance the USA is critical to every church to understand our liberties must be protected and our legislators must be reached. Please pray that we would have boldness as we go into the courts of our land. Pray that we would have boldness as we speak to the legislators and draft model legislation across the nation to protect freedom and the values you hold dear. Please pray that we would be bold as we go to the media doing interviews and radio broadcasts across the nation to be the salt and light we're all called to be. At the National Center for Life and Liberty, we believe firmly that now is the moment for us to step forward and preserve those liberties that our founding fathers gave their lives for.